Lore 1 today, 1.6, patch 1.6 has been released, and here I'm gonna show you the new features of it. So here I got basically a world with some or with some tools and a hoe. And what we're gonna test out is that you don't get this tall grass between you don't get seeds out of normal grass blocks. You gotta destroy these tall grass just by hitting them on mouse one, not mouse two, but mouse one, and there's a die. Let's hope I don't hit it. Um, you find some th sometimes rarely these, but of course it's nice enough because then it's not e as easy as on grass blocks. And there's a lot of them that just because it's a rainforest and tall grass appear in all biomes, even snow, but on grass blocks, but um, they don't spawn, um, the spawn for the most part in rainforests, a lot of them, as you can see, there is a lot of them, so they spawn more in rainforests. Now let's try the map, and that's what I'm really excited about, these tall grass add, add also new um, kind of background for the worlds, but the maps is something I'm very proud of having sometimes when you get lost or something. Instead of, you can also use um, compass, but the map is also a great one. It would be cool if you could mark the areas. But as you can see, the white dot is me, and if you run, um, this. There's some, there's uh, those small block blocks around here that will appear. That will uh, what is what you, what the uh, what's called? Uh, it will highlight the area when you walk. Some blocks, I mean. and if you walk out of the edges, those here, uh, then you need to create a new map. So that's something we gotta try out later realistic maps and I also think you have your map name up in the corner but I don't know how, why it's called map zero so we're just gonna test it out like this and of course um, when you take it up it has a little nice animation and you can also look up like this and see where you walk and then if you look down he will take his hands up your character will take his hands up to the map and drag it into the face for you into the center of the screen so you can look at it it and then see and walk so that's a really nice feature to add it. and now let's look at something other that some people needed was to mining shafts and tunnels yeah you like tunnels to la with ladders and all that stuff and that is hatches also known as trapdoors I don't know what they call them, trapdoors, but yeah. Let me just make a, what's called a shovel and a pickaxe, so you can do this faster. So, oops. So now we got a shovel and a pickaxe. Now let's just make a little deep hold. Like this. Now let's just dig up a little bit. Now we get up. And if we place the hatch here, and you have a wall here, then we can actually hit it and it will open like a normal door. And you can have ladders up here. The only problem is, as I have tested out, is that when you create these ladders, you can have them. Um, let me just show you. So we have four ladders here, and if we place them, let me just do this. If we place them one here, one here, we can place another one. Wrong way. Sorry. Let's just say say we are in a mine shaft now and we're going up. We can't actually uh, put 
my god, if this fails, we can actually put the ladders up in the uh, last um, block when a hatch is there, which I think is a good little bit for stupid. So you just gotta walk up like this. But I guess it's fine for now. And rain will not go through it, and snow will not either. So it's really nice for mining shafts. But I still think you should be able to build um, ladders up there. And if we destroy this, the hatch will also be destroyed. And also added some uh, other features to multiplayer. Fix some bugs. But uh, the server, the server possibilities where you can uh, enter the nether to a portal instead of having it another world, you can actually uh, make a portal and go through that portal to the nether directly. And that's what really I think is nice because instead of um, I think you used to use plugins to it, but I don't know, I'm not sure how. But it show sure works now. That's the only thing I know. Now let's try out the boat. And let's go out on the adventure and see when we create a new map it will highlight the other area and test this edges out. So let's just sail a little bit. Um uh well, bug. But as you um, and as you know, multiplayer got some bugs and all that stuff, and so we can I can't test out the Nether things for you just right now. But I will in the future show you the Nether working in multiplayer, and you can also just use the server properties window to just enable the nether and then you can what's it called then you can enter it to a portal that's what really I think is nice let's just walk here fail so as you can see it shows the water um, uh, light, light blue and um, that's the water and the, the um, What's called dark blue is a little deeper water, and white is snow. Whatever, you know that. But I think it's really nice that it highlights on blocks a long way still. And we need to sail a little bit here, but I'm just gonna walk or swim. Chickens. And if you walk without the map, it will also still highlight it for you, as you see. I think it's in dark soon. Yep. I set this on pe peaceful just to show you a review of this. So, we are soon out of the edges. This is taking forever, man. Come on, we're so close to the edge. I uh, got my crafting bench with me. Sure, create a boat. So now we will go out of the edge. As you can see, my character is. He would stand still. And we'll be gone now. Yep. So now we're gone from this map. So now let's create a new map and see what happens. Let's take this paper. If we look at this map, it is 
highlighted and it doesn't show any more of our map. We are not there anymore. But if we take this map, it will highlight and it's called map 1. It will be cool. I think you can rename it. Nah, I don't think. But it's fine, I guess. It's so dark. So, uh, this is the area now. We can still go a little that way, still. And then we have this map, which not works anymore. Which doesn't work anymore. And now we can highlight this area. But as you can see, we're always in the center. Always. So, I think this is really nice made. Nice future. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Please follow me in the next review. Because I will try and make a part and show you the multiplayer size side of the update. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.